Hi everyone, it's Jessica here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first tutorial video. And I'm going to take you through how I created this galaxy resin piece. So I prepped an 11 inch birch round with some block paint. And you're going to want to make sure if you are working on wood with resin that you prime it with something. So I chose to use acrylic paint. You can also use gesso or a primer. And that's going to stop air bubbles from forming underneath your resin since there is air located within the grain of your wood. So I'm just mixing. Um, I'm using art resin, which is my favorite resin. I Purchase it from a company called Desairs, and I usually wait until they have a 20% off coupon, which happens every now and again. And they're one of the only art supply companies that I've ever found that will discount art resin. So it's kind of a cool little tip. Um, I'm in Canada, so I don't know if they are only available to ship within Canada, but definitely look into it. And the pigments that I'm using are all from Just Resin. And bear with me because I do try to show you, but they don't all focus. So I'm going to list them out below, but I'll read them off to you now as well. So I'm using the Just Resin uh, Luster Pigment Paste in Turquoise. Their Silver Halo Glitter. Their Just Resin Pigment Paste in White, Violet Plum. Orchid Purple, Maya Blue, um, the Pigment Metallic in Aluminum, and then they have a Glow in the Dark pigment. The one that I chose to use was blue, and it looked like the lighter blue. So I'm interested to see how it looks once my piece has cured and I can look at it in the dark. I'm hoping it kind of lights up, but we'll see. I will post pictures of it on my Instagram. I'll list that below if you want to go and take a look. So yeah, just going through those. <laughs> Sorry that they're not focused. And when you're mixing these, you want to make sure that there is one part, no more than one part of the pigment to 10 parts of the resin. Uh, that silicone, I don't even know, spatula, I guess, that I'm using there. I bought a three-pack off Amazon. I think it was $11 Canadian. And what I love about that is I can reuse them. So I let the resin cure on that, and I just peel it right off, which is actually really satisfying to do. Kind of weird. But it saves. Saves the waste. And you can see my respirator off to the side. Clearly, I didn't put it on when I should have. I was too preoccupied with filming. i got to get better at that. Oh, torching out the bubbles. I'll list in the description bar what items you'll need to have, rather than trying to make sense of it by watching this video. Um, I'll list the respirator as well, and then I'm showing you there my safety goggles. Um, so I try to protect my eyes and my lungs. In hindsight, I should have bought like a full mask, but maybe eventually I'll splurge. So I'm just going through now and I'm adding just some lines of the resin tinted with the Luster Turquoise and then the Maya Blue. And I'm just kind of putting it wherever I think might look cool. So it's starting to take form. Um, I'm going to use a heat gun a little bit later and move that around. And show you the different effects that you can get with that. Adding the purple. I wish I had a pink that I could have added and I think if I were to do it again I would go with more of a navy blue versus that baby blue but I do plan to do another one. This was this was the trial run. I'm adding the white and the silver and I'm just going to go through and torch that. You don't want to torch too much because then your resin can either have trouble curing, um, which I've had, it's very frustrating, um, or it will kind of leave a divot. I 
And that's the glow in the dark one there. I'm so excited to see how it turns out. I actually just ordered that a couple weeks ago and it came today. All the way from Australia. So Just Resin is an Australian brand. Um, but they are worth the wait. And actually it's just not too, it doesn't take too long. All the way to Canada. So now I'm using the heat gun. This one I bought off Amazon. It comes with a bunch of different nozzles. I'm using it without any of the nozzles right now. But you'll see me go in later with like a focused nozzle to kind of move the resin a little more like particularly. I'm just kind of moving that around. Um, one of the mistakes that I made when I first started using resin was I didn't make sure the room that I was working in was warm enough. So resin really likes warm. And I find it has almost like a honey consistency. So picture like honey when it's cold, like how thick it is, all the bubbles, versus when you warm it up, it's nice and runny. So it's a lot easier to work with when it's warmed up, which is why the heat gun helps. And I find my heat gun, like the chances of me overheating it with the heat gun are a lot less than the chance of me overheating it with the torch. But I definitely like utilizing both. So just kind of adding, I find, so if you're going for more of like a lacing effect, if you take the color that you're trying to lace with, if you sort of run it into the clear resin before applying the heat, it, it kind of gives like a lacy sort of look. You can kind of see I love the way that looks. At the beginning of my video, you saw that I had, um, I can't remember what they're called, level, like a level to make sure that the piece was level before applying the resin because I've had in the past where it's been off level and the resin has just like completely dripped off and warped. And with a piece like this, that's not what you're going for. Although I, I think it'd be more forgive, forgiving than if it were one of the beach seascapes that I do. Just going in, adding some more heat to take those bubbles out. And then you can tape the sides, but I just went and ran my hands around. I'm probably going to sand it down after and then paint it black. I like to use frog tape or tuck tape. And I'll probably do a tutorial on how I do that as well. It's just kind of a pain to take off. And since this was a practice piece, I didn't think it was super necessary. So yeah, there we go. There is my resin galaxy. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out my Instagram. There's a lot more happening there. I post there daily. And yeah, thank you so much. I hope everyone's staying safe.